Hello there guys, Feng Furf here. Okay, so I've been playing an awful lot of the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing the uh, past couple of days. But what I've actually noticed with the game is that for some reason it's really, it has some really long loading times and it also stutters in really weird places. Uh, considering my rig, it shouldn't be doing that at all. I've actually found a solution to it though. So the problem is, is that when when you actually download it via Steam, uh, and it gives you a shortcut, it gives you a, a you know the option to give you a shortcut. It gives you the shortcut to the 32-bit version. So what uh, what's happening is that it's just taking an awful long time to load. It's not very optimized. So what you need to do is you need to actually go through the Steam folders and try and find the 64-bit version. So I'm going to show you to do that first and then we're going to show you the difference. So, to get the version that I'm on about, you need to go to your Windows Explorer. Now, depending on what operating system you use, it will probably be different. Although, um, you could just go to your search bar and just type in Steam. It should be pretty easy. easy. So, mine's in my local disk -y. But for those of you that have got it on default, it should be under your program files times 86. That's if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8. If I remember correctly. So, Steam. Steam. Steam apps. Common. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. Go all the way down. And we have a Van Helsing times 64 executable. So, if you want, just do what I did. I made a shortcut. And stuck it on the desktop. That's pretty much it. Let's just show you the difference between both. Now this might take a while, so obviously, uh, if you don't want to see it, then don't bother seeing it. Let's run it. Okay, so this is the normal version that Steam gives you. Okay. So it's loading. It's still <laughs> loading. I'm just going to wiggle my mouse so you can tell that I'm not actually pausing this way or making it look blur. It's all legit. <laughs> and it's actually turned to the new cur the main cursor. Excellent. To be fair, I have no idea why it even gives you this. Why this is the default executable. Because most computers these days run 64-bit. I know some don't and I can understand why some don't. But most computers these days do run 64 bits, so it's really weird why it does that. It really is. I've noticed the stuttering a lot when you're actually against a group of enemies, but sometimes it'll just stutter for the fucking fun of it, and it shouldn't be doing that. It shouldn't be doing that at all. It's still loading! <laughs> this is only the first loading screen, by the way. Don't forget there's an intro as well. So just bear that in mind. This is gonna take a while. And it's still loading. <laughs> okay, excellent. Let's talk about Van Elsen's hat while we're waiting. Okay, I spoil my little eye something beginning with G. Can you guess what it is? Damn. Let's try. Let's try something a bit harder. Okay, I spoil my little eye something beginning with L. Haha. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong again. G, give up. Okay, it's line. See, there's a few lines there. Ah, there we go. We're we're in. Brilliant. Second loading screen. Joy. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. We're actually in. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right. So, the next thing you'll notice is the actual in-game loading screen time. Oh boy. Let's resume with a Fangfirth Pew. Can you guess what that is? Okay, so normally the loading screen gives you a loading bar in the form of blood spatters. As you can see, it's loading. <laughs> and it's still loading. <laughs> hey, we've got one blood spatter. Excellent. Can we get to the second one? It normally does get all this one. There we go. Brilliant. That is unnecessarily long, by the way. And whoa, look at the stutter on this! Fuck me! Look at this! It's like fucking one frame a second, it's horrible! It's absolutely horrible, there's no reason why this should be happening. 
Look at this! It's bollocks! This is recording as well, you know. I mean, you can expect it while you're recording to stutter a little bit, but not to this extent. This is... This is really bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, let's exit. Let's show you the 64-bit version. Which increases fucking basically everything. Yeah, can we just exit? Thank you. That's all I want. I just went to exit. Nothing else. Thank you. Right, Van Helsing, the 64-bit version. Okay. So on the loading screen. Now, the first load is going to be the longest anyway. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with it as long as it's not fucking five minutes, like that one was. Okay, so let's see if we can play with Spy while waiting. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with... Uh, whoa! Brilliant! Brilliant! Excellent! So that was actually an awful lot quicker, as you can probably tell. Uh, yep, let's get that on the rip. And let's resume. Look at the loading screen. One blood spatter. What? That was fucking fast, man. And look, there's only a slight bit of stutter even. No, there's not. There's no stutter at all now. Let's get into a fight. Oh my god, it's actually playable. Wow. That so amazes me. It's so epic that I can actually play it. Yay. More importantly, I can play it and record it. Wow. Epic. No, you're not going to hit me, you bastard. So there you have it then, guys. This, hopefully, will fix a lot of the issues that you have with this bloody game. Especially if you're using 64-bit. Hell, if you're using 32-bit, then I wouldn't recommend you run the 64-bit version. <laughs> It'll probably fuck up your computer. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, do I have anything else to say? Not really. So there you have it then. Okay. I'll see you later.